In this video, I am going to show how to make a Venn diagram in Google Docs. So at this time in Google Docs, a Venn diagram is not a built-in chart type, but what we can do is use the drawing feature to create circles and add text to the circles to essentially create a Venn diagram. So this is an example of a Venn diagram that I have created in my Google Doc, and this is what I'm going to show in this video. So first, I will delete this because I will just be recreating it so that you can see how it's done. So the first thing we need to do is open up the drawing editor. And to do that, we're going to go up to the top here, insert drawing and new. And so now you should have the drawing editor open on your screen. And in the toolbar here, we're going to select shape, shapes, and you can use whatever shape you want for your diagram. I'm going to use circles. So I'm just going to select this oval tool right here. So now what you want to do is you want to click and hold down your mouse and then release as you drag your cursor to create um, the circle, the size circle that you want. So I'm going to create a circle that big. And so I'll release that. Then what you can do is select again to create another circle, or you can copy the circle that you've already created. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy and then I will paste and I'm going to move this. So they're overlapping and I'll move it there. Now, if you want a Venn diagram with uh, more than two circles, you can copy again and adjust your circle so they're overlapping. I'm just gonna do a Venn diagram with two circles in this video, but you can definitely do three, four, or more if you want to. Um, so now what I want to do is I wanna change the color of these. I'll just change the color of this one. So I'm gonna select this one and I'll do a light green color. And what I also need to do is on this second circle here that's in the front, I want to make this about 50% transparent. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is select this fill color tool up here, and then I'm going to select custom. And then there's this transparency bar on the bottom, and I'm just going to move that down to about halfway because I want about 50%. That way you can see the other line of the circle um, inside this one. I might reposition this now uh, just so that I have some more room to write. So now I have my circles and what I want to do is add text to them, which there is this text box tool. And so this works the same way as the uh, shape tool that we used earlier. You click and hold down your mouse and then as you drag to create the text box, when you release, it will create a text box of that size. So then I'm going to add my text and I'm going to change the size of this so that it all fits in one line. And I want to make this bold. So I'm going to highlight it, press control B. And then I'll just copy this control, control C on my keyboard and control V and I'll rename this. And then I will begin adding my text. I might move this around so that it fits a little better within my diagram. And that is all the text that I will use in this diagram. Um, so once you have all of your text added to your diagram and you position it the way that you want, um, then you're gonna hit save and close to finish um, adding this diagram into Google Docs. Um, so I was too zoomed in, here it is, save and close. Um, so you should see this in the top right corner of this drawing editor. So save and close, 
And now I have my Venn diagram in Google Docs. Uh, so that is how to create one using the drawing editor. Now there are some add-ons that you can also use um, that will create a Venn diagram. I'm not gonna go over that extensively in this video. Um, to do that, what you would do is hit this extensions um, button in the top menu, add-ons, get add-ons. And then um, one that I know of that does have Venn diagrams as an option is called Creately. Um, so you can install that if you want to, if you'd prefer a different option to create Venn diagrams. Um, but I'm, again, I'm not gonna go over that in this video, but that is it for this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.